Welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire, the first one. I just destroyed that boar. Mm. So yeah, this is where you can grind a very large amount. And we, I think these are all old enemies. This is, yeah, maybe... Have we ran into the mage? I want to say we have. But we've definitely run into the G-Knight, or whatever. The Ghost Knight. The Giggle Knight. Nice hit. Very nice. But this is definitely the best place to grind, but there's this tower here. And it's spoopy and we can't get in because there's a door that's locked and there's nothing up there. And there's slimes. There should be nothing up here, but I'm gonna check because of video games. Yep. At least I got some herbs from this. So yeah. There's a mystery tower. Locks! They're becoming a theme. This encounter again. Okay. Oof. Yeah, we'll... Yeah, probably next battle. I don't want to kill that. Yeah, next battle... We'll uh, have you use a meat, since we've got quite a lot of them. Nina can Iki. Stop attacking Nina! Neat. I just like to imagine with turn-based games, you just sit down and we have like a like a little feast of like boar. <laughs> just you know, my favorite. Uh, there's some weapons in the later. Ooh, see more meat. Maybe there's some weapons in the later Final Fantasy games that are just so funny. Nope, with uh, with the way turn-based battles works. I remember Final Fantasy VIII had Ward, I think his name was, he has like a boat anchor. So he has to like throw this giant boat anchor javelin, and then he has to go pick it up and go back to his little starting spot. What else? Uh, Waka in Final Fantasy X, uh, he uses a blitz ball, which is basically a fancy soccer ball. And while there isn't anything weird in terms of timing, the best thing with him is... Actually, he can throw this at, like, moving objects that are, like, hundreds of meters away and it will bounce right back to him. It is amazing. Uh, there's this battle where you fight, like, a giant creature. You're on a boat and you're boating. You're boating. You're sailing right beside this huge creature that's pulling you because you've, been, you've like, pinned it with harpoons. And he can somehow throw his ball, like, at this thing. It's Finn that's like way in the air, far away, and you're moving, and the thing's moving, and it's just- it's hilarious. We might get some levels from this battle. Wow, Nina finished him off. Or her, I can't tell, with a, a slime. They're probably just intersex hermaphrodites. Yay! So here is Bleak. Ugh, good, just one. Yeah, ooh, and they leave life too, so they give you even more money. Then there's this cave here. Which I don't think we can use. Doot, 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 doot. Well, we probably can, but let's just avoid it for now because we want to go to Bleak. Because we're told to go to Bleak, but I always explore crap. And I, if I remember, it's always night over here. Ooh. We're gonna do this again since we're gonna get healed anyway. So it's always light by the, the city of rich gold, and it's always dark in the city of uh, thieves. Excitement. Excitement. Yay, Lena! Dig. Good, good, good. Need more HP. Vigor, good. Agility, yeah. Look up one. Ah, renew. I think that is the life spell. Let me check. Yeah, it is. Okay. Good to have that. That means if we die and we don't have a life, well, I don't have a life. No, I'm kidding. This is bleak. It's a village of happy thieves. This is a game for us. We still think to see if we can get away with it. Okay. So yeah, th see, it's a little poorer here. There's like trash cans, and if you have a problem, talk to the head of thieves. There's a head of thieves. So 
Remember I bought that pouch? This is where you use it. So you talk to this guy. He's like, we are for free lodging. Wow, stay as long as you like. So it's like, wow. It's kind of like, uh... <laughs> Zozo, where everyone lies. <laughs> from Final Fantasy VI. A string was attached to your pouch. You caught it just in time. So I paid, I think, 500 for that pouch. I'm sorry, please keep this yourself. Take this for your troubles. And he gives you 5,000. So I, like, very much did well. And... I hope you can keep our little secret. If you, uh... If you stay here again, it's for free. So, that's why, yeah. I hope you can keep our little secret. So yeah, that's what the pouch is for. And I'm pretty sure the pouch is gone now from our inventory. Yeah. Nope, it's, I still got it. I guess I can just get rid of it later. Since the light key was taken from the, I assume, light keep. What else could L stand for? The leak keep. You know, like leaks. Like the, the vegetable. Or maybe it could stand for the leviathan keep. The litigation keep. Well, ha! I'll tell you for four. No. You could change your mind if I'm right here. What do you say, sir? The old man in light keep has mirror. That's important, but we'll find out later why. Oh, and here's... Eh. This will move, but you need someone stronger. So yeah, there's uh, an item here. Take a life, too, for more money. Or just having a life, too. Hey, you can't move those giant things yet. Oh, and if you eat the potatoes, I think it poisons you? No, I think it just takes 5 HP away. So that's hilarious. They even have, like, rotten food. And this is, like, the only place with potatoes. They're, like, making a potato famine joke. Can you even make a potato famine joke? I have many questions. Ah, so here's storage. Yay. Uh, you could store GP, which, eh, it's not really that important in this game. In the other games it is. Especially too. So I'm gonna store, for now, the water jar. Oh, won't let me. I'm gonna store the key, since I never need that. Uh, I'm gonna keep the tablet, because we gotta go back to that place. <sighs> I don't really need the map, to be honest. And I can't store any of the keys. Oh, I'll store the pouch. And probably a W antler, so we gotta remember that's in there. Bye! Welcome to the item shop! Get another herb. Guess we'll get a few charms. Jeez, we almost have enough for another G-bar. Oof. I didn't even grind that much, I think I grinded for five minutes. I did all the little secret side quests, though. What else can we get here? Oh, the sh shopkeepers are honest, unlike the inn. Guess we'll get a dagger. Seems like this is the same stuff. We'll get one dagger. Hint, we might be getting another character. Metal shield. Iron shield. <sighs> yeah. Can't give it to Bo until he has... I mean, I have so much GP. I think this will be really good for... Nope. Okay, nobody. Iron. I don't know what SL would stand for. Sling? Slarm? Slarm. It's slarm, guys. I got it. Okay, we're good there. And wool robes is better for Nina. Very much a yes. Good. She'll have more defense. Yeah, I'm not sure what all that stuff is. Slarm. It's funny that, like, this place has honest shops, other than the inn, but you get my point. Who are the people that are hiding from us? What? The people have fled their homes town because of the dark dragons. Wait, are you guys dark dragons, or are you just, like, thieves? Like, just, you know, chaotic, neutral, I guess? I'm not gonna eat the potatoes again. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> Treasure! I knew it, and a candle! Hmm. Somebody just sent me that burb meme where it's that uh, hawk and he looks like he's got huge swole muscles because he's like his wings are out like their arms. And it's just in the corner of my screen right now, staring at me. Staring at me. Ah, uh, this dude. Come and let's see if I can get this to work. So, uh, this is another trick, but there's a little gift you can get with this. Come and see the Great Magician at work. Okay, put 100 GP on the table and I'll make it disappear. Okay! Oh, hey, look behind you! 
No. What? Don't you trust me? Oh, hey, look behind you. No, I think you do it twice, and then you say yes. Yeah, you see, so Capcom made this game, and they also made Street Fighter, so you get to see Chun-Li doing her, I think it's called a hurricane kick. I'm sorry, I don't know Street Fighter as well as I should, but I know who Chun-Li was. So yeah, I paid 100G to see a little, uh, short. You can get her again, there's a secret ending that you can get in this game if you equip a certain weapon to Ryu, uh, and then beat the game with it equipped on him. That I'll probably show off, but yeah, I just spent 100 gold to see that, which I don't care, it was worth it. If you do anything else, like you say look away or no, or just- he'll just stop, I think, if you keep saying no enough, or, uh, he just takes the gold and leaves, so. Now he's back! What do you have to say, green-haired lady? I understand that there's connection between the goddess and the dark key. Yep, we gotta get all the keys. So who's this head thief? The book reveals the trick of Master Thieves. It's hidden in Crypt. Okay, that's a new location we haven't heard. I've seen the old man in the L-Keep talk to ghosts. Um, what? <laughs> Did we fight a ghost? Was Whips Wisp a ghost? Karn could help you enter the safe in Aria, but he's in Crypt now. You'll need the icicle to travel to the desert. Trade a G-Bar for it? Yeah, I know that was all fast, so what we have to do is find Karn. Uh, he was actually that thief in the prison who let us go a few times, but in this game, uh, yeah. Uh, he's- I guess he went all the way to Crypt to find this book of Master Thieves, and this is where you need the G-Bar. You have a G-Bar! I'll trade you the icicle for it, so yeah. That's why you need the G-Bar for the first time, but you get so much gold between this town and the other town that even if you did minimal grinding- wow, sorry, it's really windy outside. There's a thunderstorm coming, and we just had the tree outside of my window, I'm on the second floor, trimmed, so I'm not worried about branches falling, but holy crap. And to get to Crypt, we basically take that cave that we saw. So I'm gonna stop at the inn, and save. It's funny that this town still has a dragon temple, and then we'll go to... The desert. G slime? Nope. Yeah! Ooh, good HP. I wish I got these kind of level up in Breath of Fire 4. Figure out. Wow, that was a big level. Sweet. Alright! Oh, jeez. E key is still useful. I mean, 30 damage to everyone. If Nina had that, that rapier, which is technically the best weapon she could have right now. Oof. Okay, so I didn't mention this before, because I've been fast-forwarding. But Shock is an instant death spell. Uh, I think another one is also... It might just be Shock. But there's a better one, that, and yeah, that is terrifying that they can do it that fast. I guess I can use a life, too. I mean, I got so much money. It's- I think it's shock and... I don't remember, but that's what it is. So yeah, life two brings someone back from the dead completely. That's the only time I'll probably ever use it, because that was mean. Whoosh! Oh my. Oh my. This is probably if- Oh jeez, stop! Okay, good, it misses. Yeah, it doesn't have a very high hit rate, even when- you, I think, get a death spell as well, and it's very useful, actually. At the end of the game, things have over a thousand HP, and the damage cap is 999. So it's very nice. You can just use a death spell and do max damage for way less. <laughs> the flies left life! Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, so, back to Nina. She would never be able to do this much damage. 30 to all. I don't even think she'd do 30 with her best weapon. Yay! I don't think there's any treasure in this cave. Oh, just go. I also think Curse... I don't know if it's like the second game. In the second game, you have a stat called your condition. And it dictates a lot of things. I think it dictates your uh, status resistance. And it dictates your ability to use certain spells. They're... Ah, so yeah. If you did this before and you came out... 
you couldn't leave because it's so hot because it's a terrible desert. You'd have to go back and get... Yeah. But now we're in the desert, and I think we're gonna run into Creepy Scorpion. Nope, we're running into, uh... Suggestive Worms. Creon. Okay. Yeah, I think Curse might also lower your status ailments resistance? I don't know. There's a lot of oddly hidden things in this game. Woohoo. Excuse me. Hooray! Creepy cactuses! We have cac prickle and cactus. Okay. Good to know. If a cactus, you know, came out like this and... Oh, it seems cactus is weaker than prickle. How did I know? I don't know. If a cactus had an eye like that, just... Oof. I love how they don't actually have an attack, they just flash. I assume they, like, run at you and hit, hit you with, like, their prickle heads. Or, like, slap you with their tentacles. Yeah, burst level 18. Woo! Big. You start getting huge HP up for bow, and there's a reason for that. Up. Oh, there's a scary scorpion. Scorp. It's like a skull, and then there's scorpion parts around it. How fun. I think that guy can poison you too. Oh boy, more prickles. Mr. Prickle Pants. Eh, we know what happens. Things die. Oh my. Ah, I think these guys can cast Quake. Not 100% sure on that. Um, where am I supposed to go? Whoa! New creeps! No. Sand Clod. I don't know why that really amuses me. There's a similar enemy to that in Breath of Fire 3. I'm seeing all these, uh... Parallels, I like it. Sand Clod. They have just as much bad defense as the other game did. Ah, uh, what's that place? What is with the encounter rate? Good lord. Okay. At least we go before all of them. I think the Sand Clod can paralyze. I can't remember though. It's good we can kill them so fast. Let's go in here! <gasps> oh no, it's protected by a whirlpool! What do you know? And here's a little town! Wow, excitement. Oh yeah, there's a the moving town up there. Uh, if I remember... It just moves, doesn't it? You can't get to it? Yeah. <laughs> Amusement. I guess I can kill these guys in one round. See, so yeah, I can't get to that yet. It's always moving stuff in the desert. Woo! All oh, of these guys, they're Jawas! This is Arad. I still don't get this. I never, like, is this another clan? Like, clan of the desert? Are they just, like, short people? You can make a bridge appear of the quicksand. Ah, so that's the crypt down there. So that's what we need. I just want to remind you that we're doing all of this just to use a boat. Yep. Yes, I've solved a town that moves around in the desert. There, it is a desolate area. That's why the dragons aren't there. Okay. Cool, I like their little huts. But yeah, I want to know if this is like a different race, because Breath I'm not trying to like, be racist. <laughs> but they look, you know, they don't look like the... But it was regular. Ooh, a goat! What's up? Ba ba. is that it? That's all? That's all we got? It's not like in a... I think it was in Final Fantasy 4 or 5 where you can get it to kick you over the wall. I heard that the Thief of Crypt stole a rare weapon and hit it. Yep, we're gonna get that rare weapon. It's actually an upgrade for the ring, but it's difficult to get. Uh, you, it's br uh, you get it, but you need a character to get it. A special- I think this is the save point. Nope, it's the end. Welcome to the desert! Would you like to rest? <laughs> so it's free. And yeah, this is what I said that some places don't have a temple, they just have this statue. So that's- I think that's cool. 
Here's Tay! What we're gonna do, actually, is take the ring off. It's probably the point where you want to take the ring off, just... Uh, there's a lot of single targets that you're gonna be running into, and now the ring's a little weaker, but I like to leave it on. But for this, what we're gonna do... No. The mayor has the thief fife. You can use it to make a bridge appear. Yep, we know. So, this must be... The chief. The giant sandworm appears with every new moon. I'll give you the fight if you destroy it. Okay, so if you say yes, you're pretty much put into a fight when the sandworm appears. It eats our goats. That way there's only one. There's a new moon tonight. Wait, and you will see it. So yeah. Fear is the mind killer. Okay, so we go out. We can't get that chest yet. And I think you have to go over to the goats. And I think our friend Mr. Goat got eaten already. And then you talk to this puddle, and, uh, a wormy worm comes out. What is he? Is he just S-worm? Yep, or sandworm. Ooh. We're gonna fort some people, and we can use dragon forms. I think this guy is weak against ice. So we're gonna try that. If not, oh well. Boop, I'm a dragon. Ow. Oh, he's not weak against thunder. I just confirmed that. Uh, we'll try frost. And then we will fort... What am I doing? And then we will fort Nina, and then see how the snow dragon works. Petrify. Ow. No, I don't think he's weak to that. Maybe he is. I like that 100 damage, we'll save that. Oh, and uh, since Ryu's attack power is set, you really can't, you know, like, increase it. The only way to really increase it is to use a marble 1 or a marble 2, and he'll get a guaranteed slam, which just doubles his damage. So, you know, that's nice. But yeah, this guy isn't too tough. Ooh, I gotta heal Nina after this. If you don't want to use Fry, I mean, you could always just... have a uh, bow attack with attack up. Oh no, Nina's gonna die. Okay, I'll heal her next turn. Jeez, that was a pretty terrible slam. I like how the sandworm is made of uh, balls that are just really close together. Actually, we should probably use a cura too, because that was a pretty big hit. Recover! Woohoo! Man, he's not like Nina! Yeah, pretty much every boss battle you want to turn Ryu into a dragon, for obvious reasons. Eh. We'll just attack so we can get him into that phase. Ooh, he's actually attacking Bo. Eh. Eh. Sandworm got up. Okay, good for you. And I honestly don't know what his AI script is. He might just hit harder. I don't think he has a... Oh yeah, he just hits harder. Excitement. Zap. And this guy doesn't have a long second, especially compared to the gremlin where it was like, What happened? Yeah, he might be dead this turn. We'll see. Oh my. I just really like Nina. Maybe not. Maybe this turn. I'm just healing Nina just to be safe. And he attacks Bo. Zap it is up. There we go. And he just goes back down. I guess he didn't die or he goes somewhere. Yeah, we win! Victory sword to pose. Thank you very much. Please take the fife as a gift. Yep. 
shaboom. Yes, victory music. Let's go to the inn again. With that, I'll probably stop because it's been 25. Getting a lot of free ins. I also think they're giving you the free ins too just to save money. Because, uh, you're trying to get the gold bar, but whatever. You need another one later. So yeah, that, uh, we're gonna go in the crypt and finally get Karn and finally get this boat going. Which we've been trying to do for the past, like, oh, it's just a long side quest. It's not as bad as that bridge and I think it was the first Lufia. And that stupid bridge you have to build in the DS version of Crown Trigger. There's a lot of bridges and a lot of boats that take a lot to get into, that's all I'm gonna say. Breath of Fire 3 has it too, but yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye